to the pink with me, Yumi, Louis T. Welcome to this quick Louis T. Network update. Uh, I want to send a huge shout out to all of you who DM me or sent me a message, whether it was on IG or Twitter or what may have you, sending this uh, video to me. So everyone sent me this link and it was to a video of Jahan Dotson on a podcast on a channel called Second Wind. And apparently these are two dudes that grew up, you know, around the way they knew Jahan Dotson. And so he, he came on their show and he chopped it up with them for about roughly 50 minutes or so. And, you know, Jahan, as they mentioned on the show, is a pretty reserved dude. You don't hear a lot from him. So um, this was an opportunity to get to know him. And I wouldn't have found this without y'all. So again, big shout out to all of y'all who sent me the link to this video on YouTube. And I'll be dropping the link down in the uh, comment section and I will pin that comment to the top for those of you who haven't seen it yourself. So um, in this video, he talks about a number of different topics, his upbringing, you know, where he gets his confidence from, you know, family importance, college career, um, getting drafted by Washington, the upcoming season, where he feels he and Terry McLaurin rank as a duo, wide receiver duo in the NFL, um, the slight that he feels from the media going into his second season, you know, what could have been in his rookie season had he stayed healthy. Um, there's a lot that he discussed. He even talks about Sam Howell for about a, a good minute or so in this video um, and, and talks about the confidence that he has in Sam Howell. I won't spoil it for you, uh, but for those of you who have seen it, all right, what's the biggest takeaway that you had from watching this video? All right, you know, I, I think it's clear and obvious what the biggest takeaway for, for me is anyway. But I want to know what it is for you. Leave it down in the comment section of this video. I can't wait to read your responses. And for those of you who haven't watched the video, do do yourself a favor. I mean, you don't really have much else to do, right? I mean, if you're looking for Washington content, there's not a ton of it out right now. Go check the video out and uh, come back and leave it down in the comment section with the biggest takeaway for you watching that clip or that video was. So for me personally, it's the athletic arrogance. And I've talked about this um, when it comes to professional athletes everybody's good okay when you get to the highest level which the nfl is in football when you get to the highest level of professional sports whatever sport you're playing there's really one big differentiator and that that differentiator is confidence and because everybody can play some guys can play a little bit better some guys can jump a little bit higher some guys can run a little bit faster but everybody can play that's why they got to this level the difference is up here for for most guys it's up here all right you could be the you could be the more gifted athlete all right you could be taller you can jump higher you can run faster but if you don't have it up here if you don't have it here then you're not going to excel you're not going to beat the guy that runs the four five six forty even though you run a four three six forty you're not going to beat that guy because up here mentally he's got it together and he thinks he's better than you all right as a matter of fact, he knows he's better than you. And listening to Jahan Dotson talk, all I heard was supreme confidence spewing from every nook and cranny of his body. And I love it because, again, for the longest time, I felt like we haven't had enough dogs on our team. You know, we had a lot of nice guys. Guys, you, you if you're a female, you, this is the kind of guy you take home to your mom and dad and say, hey, I got a nice, wholesome young man here. That's the kind of guys we've been drafting and breeding. Aside from the Sua Cravens and the Darius Geises of the world, uh, we've been bringing, you know, along a lot of good guys, good, clean, wholesome guys. Ding! You know, not guys that are absolute savages and dogs and want to rip your heart out. Or as a wise man once said, I want to eat your kids. That's a little bit much, okay? But you get the gist of what I'm trying to explain. You need guys that want to go out on the field and they want to take the hearts of the defender in front of them. 
They want to take the heart of the person trying to beat them. And Jahan Dotson is one of those dudes. And I, I love it when guys just admit. Just admit it. A lot of people, a lot of these players, it's usually the older ones. But you get some younger guys too. And, and look, I'm not here to tell anybody what they do or don't do, okay? But a lot of these guys try to act as if they don't see things, if they don't hear things out there. If you're under the age of 27, you're on social media. Stop, okay? You're on social media. You're, you're on, you know, you're watching TV. If you're not doing it, somebody you know is doing it, you're getting this information one way or another, whether you're up there yourself. Because if you're 25 and under, you live on your phone. So you know what's going on on socials. So, so stop, right? But I love it when a guy just admits they're not, they not mentioning my name. It, it, you know, a wise man once said, if you get jammed up, don't mention my name. Except in this particular case, Jahan Dotson isn't jammed up. He wants you to mention his name when you're talking about second year potential breakouts. They're not mentioning his name, right? And I've talked about the disrespect. I said, we get daily disrespect around here, but it's okay because when you don't win, you don't get respect. I'm not asking for anybody to give us anything. Don't give us shit. I want to earn it. I want to take that shit. You don't want to give us respect? Fine, I take it from you. So if Jahan wants the respect, he's going to have to take it from him. And I love it. And he, and he pretty much said in that interview, I had to take it from them. They didn't want to give me respect last year. Teams passed over me in the draft. They didn't think I was good enough. So I had to go out there and I had to take my respect. And I had to go out there and I had to show them. <laughs> I'm a dog out here and I'm ready to eat. And, you know, that's the thing about quiet guys. Quiet guys, people mistake guys and athletes that are quiet for not having that desire, that hunger, and that dog. You know, a lot of times when they talk about Terry or they don't talk about Terry, it's because Terry's not out here slamming his helmet after being wide open and not getting the football. He's not one of these guys doing stupid shit like Stephon Diggs is doing in Buffalo right now. So his name isn't out there. It's the same thing with Mike Evans. You, you, Mike Evans is one of the best receivers, the most consistent receivers. He's done things in the NFL that no other receiver has done in NFL history. Do we hear Mike Evans' name mentioned? No, you know why? Because Mike Evans isn't out here doing stupid shit. Yeah, he's gotten in a couple of brouhaha's with Marshawn Lattimore, you know, and he seems to have a little bit of an extra edge when he plays the Buccaneers. But outside of that, you don't hear Mike Evans' name. He's not out here ca causing a stir. He's just doing his work, going about his business, and putting up numbers every single year. And that's the same thing Terry's doing. So you don't hear these guys' names. So people mistake their quiet demeanor for, oh, they're not a dog. But we saw it come out against the Indianapolis Colts where Terry went up and got that football. We saw it against the Green Bay Packers. We saw when Terry made big plays, we saw that dog, that hunger. When he turned around and looked at Jair Alexander after catching that touchdown, looking at him like, bitch, you tried. <laughs> you thought you ate. But I just devoured your ass. You know, Terry's a dog. So is Jahan. And if you don't walk away from watching that, not understanding what this dude is, when I tell you we got one of these trios, duos, when I tell you we're coming offensively, this is what I'm talking about. Terry's hungry. Jahan's hungry. Curtis, low key, low key. Quiet is kept. Curtis is a dog, okay? All right? This is a dangerous group of receivers that we currently have. I'm not going to say it again. Yes, I am. I'm lying. I'm going to say it a bunch more, okay? As long as the offensive line is up to speed, Sam Howell is going to get these playmakers the football. Trust and believe when I tell you this offense has a chance to be dangerous and Jahan Dotson really is the X factor if we're keeping it above. He's the difference between scoring 27 or scoring 17, to be honest with you, because he's taking t attention away from Terry. 
He's taking attention away from Curtis Samuel. He's opening up holes in the run game because he's going to help take attention away from the box. You can't just double or bracket Terry anymore because Jahan's on the opposite side or on the same side, and you got to pick your poison. Somebody's going to get double teamed. Somebody's getting one-on-one. Used to be just double Terry. Let, let them figure out who else they can get the football to. Now we got two dudes that can get vertical and can break you off, get open, make tough catches, make plays, and then you sprinkle in Curtis Samuel and he can do it all. It can be a dangerous group. I walked away from this even more confident than I already was in who Jahan Dotson is as a football player. But the confidence that he exudes that's what we're looking for. We want all our guys to have that mentality. And we're, we're starting to see it with this group. There are more and more of those types of players on this football team than it has been in quite some time. And that's why I'm gaining confidence in terms of thinking what the ceiling can be for this team. I'm not moving off the number that I have in my head in terms of win-loss for this season. That number is, is stuck right where it is. It's not going to move. You'll find out what that number is down the road. But with the talent that's on this team, and I've said this already, and I'll say it probably 50 million more times before the start of the season, this is the most talent that we've had here in Washington since probably 2015, okay? This is definitely by far and away the most talent Ron Rivera's ever had since he's been here. But it's not even close to the amount of talent that we had for the, the past five, six, seven years. I mean, once we saw the exodus after the 2017 season, I mean, going from 15 to 16, losing Deshaun and, and Pierre and company after the 16 season, then losing Crowder and Kirk Cousins and Jordan Reed. And we saw all of the talent exit stage left. We have not recouped that talent yet until now. The defense is way better than it ever has been. Even when we were scoring points back in 15, the defense was ass. We never had a run game when Kirk was here. All of that has changed. This is a talented group. And Jahan Dotson, I think, is a huge piece of the puzzle. And his ability to stay healthy knock on a little bit of wood, is going to really be a huge difference for us this year. Because, as we all know, man missed five games and still scored seven touchdowns. He knows how to find the end zone. So, if he's healthy, he's taking tension away from Terry, I think you're going to see the number of touchdowns for both Terry, Jahan, Curtis, and company go up this year. Jahan's a huge part of that. I think he really is an X factor, and I thought it was a really good interview. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, do yourself a favor. Do that right now. I've given you my biggest takeaway is just the confidence. He's a dog. He knows he's a dog. He knows he can eat up these NFL DBs. What's your biggest takeaway? Leave it down in the comment section. That's going to do it for me, your man, Louis T., here on this quick Louis T. Network update. I am going to see you guys tomorrow for the command post live and in color. Don't diss the man or I bum rush your mother. You know what it is. Until then, you guys have a good one. Hope you're enjoying the series that I've uh, been putting out, um, The Reign of Terror. Uh, I would like to see more support. I would like to see more of you watching the videos. Um, but look, I'd rather have those of you who actually want to support support than just having people click it on and then click it off that doesn't help if you're going to watch watch if you're not you're not but in any event i'm having a lot of fun more fun than i thought i was going to have kind of reliving the past um but I, I want you guys to enjoy it as well but in any event that's going to do it for me your man louis t until next time you guys have a good one take care I'll see you tomorrow night louis t Network.
Hey.